day 756 being Christopher Cruz. Um, so just did the video about my mom. That was awesome. Um, so the other thing is that uh, our pastor, this sermon series is all about treasure. So your time, your talents, and your treasure, like your money, <clears throat> and, and giving those things to God. And this is like not a popular message. You know, when pastors talk about money, it's people don't like it. <laughs> and he told us that like, this isn't going to be comfortable, but I'm going to preach what's in this Bible. And he started talking about, you know, tithing. And I didn't understand that what tithing actually was. I just know you're supposed to give 10%, but could you just give it to a homeless person instead? Do you have to give it to the church? Like I had so many questions. I think a lot of people do and they don't understand. And, and then, um, you know, I'm like, well, Jesus never talked about tithing. So, you know, why do you, do you really have to do it? And then a lot of people say, well, they had to in the Old Testament, but you don't have to now because the New Testament, the New Covenant, the New Agreement. And so he's like, I'm going to clear all this up. And uh, he goes to the Bible and um, he brings up this scripture where Jesus actually said, yes, you should still tithe. And I was like, wait, I didn't know that Jesus said that we're supposed to tithe. And right then and there, <clears throat> my whole resistance to tithing and giving 10% disappeared completely. That was just like, oh, well, if Jesus said it, I don't give a shit what anyone says or what anyone thinks. Like, boom, it's in the word. Okay. All right. And our pastor, he just, he was just like, just giving us so much wisdom. It was just crazy. And he's like, God owns everything in the world. Everything belongs to God. Even your body belongs to God. Jesus said your body is God's temple. He owns you. He bought you with a price. Like there is nothing. He said, tell me one thing in your life that wasn't given to you by God. We have the illusion. We earned it. I worked hard for this. No, no. God gave it to you. Everything you have. And even when you're working hard and you're using your talents, who gave you your talents? Who gave you your skills? Who gave you the air to breathe today? everything belongs to God. And so what God says is that God is 100% of the money belongs to him. <clears throat> and what he's saying is, I'm going to give you my money and I'm going to let you keep 90% of it. And you give me 10% of it, even though it all belongs to me. I'm going to let you keep 90 because that's how generous God is. And I've always had an issue when, um, when pastors say like, you know, give, give your money to God. It's like, what do you mean give your money to God? God doesn't even need our money. Like I'm giving it to the church, not to God. And, and then he explained through the Bible that you're, you, you give money to the church so the church can grow, so the church can expand, so the church can feed people, so the church can clothe people. And he showed us the scripture that said that because that's how we expand the gospel. That's how we get God out into the world is through church. Like that's, that's how we make disciples of people. This is how, this is how we spread the word of God. And so, but churches don't have a lot of money. So they don't have a lot of power and they're not able to spread the message of Jesus very powerfully. And I'm thinking of that. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, imagine if these churches had as much money as some of these businesses, the impact they could make in the world. And we've just been, you know, we've seen a lot of scandals and all that crap with churches and pastors and all this stuff. And so I think we just, there's an attack on that. But it's like, I don't care what happens with the money. All I care is that I'm obedient to God. And, and he just shifted my perspective of helping me see that it all belongs to him. 100% of it belongs to him. And he lets us keep 90 and he only asks for 10 of it, not for him, but for his church, for his people to expand, to be able to feed the homeless, to be able to have a space for people to come and get saved. And it's just like, it was just like, oh my God, that's crazy. I just never saw it that way. Um, and it was just so helpful. And he's like, you don't have to start with 10. You know, if, if 1% is, it feels good to you, start there. I don't need you guys to all do 10. Like that, I'm not talking about that. But do something where you are trusting God. You're saying, it's a, it's a statement of trust. It's a declaration of trust saying, God, I trust you 
with this money. God, it's yours. Thank you for letting me keep the 90. I'm giving 10 to the church so we can expand your word and save more souls. <coughs> and so it was just rocked my world. Totally removed the fear of me tithing and it made me realize that tithing is significant and that when I make every dollar I make 10% automatically has to go. That's just the reality. That's the mindset I have to be in. And so I get home and I lay down to just like relax and uh, I open YouTube and then I find this random video that says, here's why Jews are so wealthy. And I was like, I don't even know why I clicked on it. It, it was just like, I'm, I don't care why Jews are so wealthy, but I'm also like trying to have a transformation in finances. And I click on it and I watch this video and it's all these super wealthy, successful Jewish people. And they're like, you're going to be shocked when you hear this answer because it's not a common answer. They said the key to wealth is charity, is giving, is generosity. What they're saying is tithing. They just don't call it that. They call it charity. So they give to their churches or synagogues or whatever it is they have. I don't know what Jewish people have, but their version of church. And so they're interviewing all these super successful, super wealthy people. And they have all these like Jewish rabbis videos of them, old, old videos where they're teaching about money. And they're teaching where there's a Bible verse that says, where God says, um, tithe into my house or something like that. Tithe into my house and, and I'll bless you in, in your, your, your storehouses will, will overflow, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Basically like, if you give, I'm gonna bless you way more than you can imagine. And then God goes on to say, test me in this. And so I see that in the video and I'm like, oh my God, those are the Bible verses our pastor went over today. Today, he was literally talking about, it. he showed us that exact verse in the Bible where God says, test me in this. And I'm listening to this video and I'm listening to all these like rich Jewish people talking about it. They're like, this is the only part in the Bible where God says, test me in this. And he says, you, he doesn't say you can test me in this. He literally says, test me in this. It's like a command. And so all these, all these, these rich people are saying, so that's what I did. They said, I committed $10,000 to my church or whatever it is for the year. And I made five times that because the Bible says you'll get five times or something like that somewhere in the Bible. Um, and they were like, and it worked the first year. And so then they were like, so the next year I doubled it. And I went from 10,000 to 20,000 and my income doubled. And then I did this much and then I did this much. And this guy went from giving $18,000 in a year to $250,000 in a year. And he said, it is crazy, you won't believe it, but God will take whatever you give to his, his church or whatever it is and he will multiply it by at least five times. And then this is how you become a joyful giver because the Bible says God loves a joyful giver. You become a joyful giver because you know that you are giving to something good. You are giving and you're being generous. And in you being generous, God is gonna bless you with abundance and overflow. And I'm just like, what? Like, that's how it works. Like all these super wealthy people, I thought they were all gonna say visualization, goal setting, discipline, determination, and all of them are like charity, charity. This is how God operates. And they're like, people don't understand how God operates with money. God loves generosity. God wants to expand his kingdom. And if you, if he can trust that when he blesses you with finances, that you will pour it into his kingdom, into the expansion of his kingdom, he will bless you with more and more and more. And that's why he says, test me in this. Nowhere else in the Bible does God say, test me with anything. But he says, he commands us, test me in this. Give your money and test me in this and watch me bless you. And I was just like, what the heck? And, and this guy's talking, who's like crazy successful. And he's like, here's what you do. Pick a number. Pick a number that's outside your comfort zone that you're going to commit to give to the year for the year, what are you gonna to commit to giving? Pick that number, write something down 
that tells your, your church or whatever it is that you're committing to it. He said, what I did is I took 12 checks and I wrote, you know, a thousand dollars on each check and I had asked them to cash one each month. So I couldn't even control it if I, if I wanted to. And, and he said, do that and watch what God does. Watch the ideas you get for your business. Watch how many clients show up. Watch what happens when you commit to something that you don't even believe is possible. He said, when I committed to $36,000, so he committed to $18,000 the first time he was in his family business, he could do that. And then he committed to $32,000 the next year, but that's when he was starting his own business, not making any money. He's like, how the heck am I gonna pay this? But his rabbi made him commit to it. And his business freaking took off. That's why he's upped it year after year after year. And, and it's just crazy. And I'm like, what? That's what you have to do. And it's, he said, when you commit, you are telling God, I trust you. I have faith in you. And God, you're building your house, your kingdom comes before everything. And I was just like, I have never heard. I've read so many things about money and making money and the key to success and the key to making money. I have never heard this charity giving. And what are the odds that I would see that random? It's such a random video. I'm not watching videos on money right now. I'm not watching videos on Jewish people right now at all. It was just such a random video in my feed. Didn't fit in with any of the other ones. And then what are the odds that it's the same message that our pastor is preaching today that really touched me. And I literally sat there and I watched that video and I'm like, okay, God is showing me. He's literally showing me the way. He's showing me the answer. He, he is working on me right now. He is causing breakthroughs in my life and transformations. And he is taking me to the next level and he's transforming me and growing me. And he just gave me the answer. It's right in front of me. My pastor gave me the answer. And then after that, this video confirmed it on a whole new level. And I was like, I was just thinking like, what if I, the number, it was like, what, what's the number in my head that, that just feels right to me? And it was 30,000. I was like, what if I declare to God, God, I'm going to give $30,000 to my church this year. $30,000 is what I'm committing to. No clue how I'm going to do it. No clue whatsoever. But I'm committed to giving that money to the church because it'll make a massive difference and more souls will be saved. If it wasn't for that church, I wouldn't be living this life that I'm living right now. They led me back to God and it, they did it perfectly. If they didn't have the warehouse and the neon lights and the glass stage and the cool pastor, I would have never showed up. I would have never gone to a traditional church. So this is like, this is like the gateway church to, to God. Such an incredible blessing of a church and such genuine loving people. Like it's just so good man, if I could bless them with $30,000, I can make such a big difference in their church. And it was just like, okay, God, the number's 30,000. Obviously I can't give them, you know, 12 checks for 2,500 bucks each because I don't have it. But if it really works and you commit under these principles that these rich Jewish people were saying is if you commit 30, you will get five times that. So that would be 150,000. So then that would mean that I would make 180,000 over the next year. 180,000 and 30,000 of that would go to the church and I would get to keep 150,000. And it's like, and this guy, he swore by it. He's like, just do it try it watch watch it test god says test me in it test god and watch what he does but we live in such a, a a faithless world and such a greedy stingy world that most people most people don't even tithe less than 10 percent of people in a church tithe give the 10 percent. so i was just like what are the odds that our pastor would be saying that today and then i would click on a random youtube video that makes no sense that it's in my stream and they're telling me hey you want to be rich you want to be successful you know you want to know why jews are so successful and so wealthy because of charity they understand how money works they understand how important generosity is god is a generous generous god and he loves a generous faithful giver i was just like what are you serious 
Like, I'm in. Like, I'm in. I mean, I would not be upset if I gave $30,000 to the church and I got one hundred and fifty. Like, I would not be upset about that at all. So I was just like, is it, there, is it really that simple? But it makes sense. You're having massive faith in God. You're, you're declaring something and you're trusting him and you're testing him. Like, this is where we get to actually test God. Like, okay, God, I'm going to give this much. Like, I'm testing you. Like, is it really that simple? So, I don't know. But just even thinking about that, like right now, that would, I'd have to do 2,500 bucks a month or something because 3,000 3, a month would be 36,000. So minus 500, yeah, it's 2,500 bucks a month is what I would have to give to the church if I was going to do $30,000 this year. And it hit me just now when I was saying it. That's only one client. That's only one coaching client. That's only one six-week client. I just got three of them yesterday. <laughs> like, I just got three of them yesterday. So in reality, it's like, if I get five clients a month, that's $12,500. 2,500 of it goes to church and I keep 10,000 for myself and for everything else. That's a good deal. I'll take that all day long. Yeah. So all I know is when these clients pay, I'm absolutely doing my 10%. And that's going to be the first thing that I do. Um, Cause it's been hard to do that. The, the more money I make, the harder it is to give it away to church. The harder it is to give that 10%. But I want to test God in this. I don't care what, what, what people say. I care what the word says. And he says, test me in this. So yeah, that was just mind blowing. Just a whole different shift in perspective. Um, and I just love the fact that my coaching is, is so affordable now because I just feel like there's so much more opportunity to get a lot of, of clients. And this morning when I was getting ready, I was just doing the math and it was like, okay, if I just get like four one-on-one -on -one clients a month, that's four hours of coaching calls a week. And then I do like, you know, 10, 10 to 20 people in a group coaching every month because I do one or two challenges. Well, the group coaching, that'll be a thousand dollars a person. So there's 10 to $20,000 with that. And then my one-on-one -on -one clients, there's another 10. So there's 20 to $30,000 a month right there. And that's only doing five hours of coaching a week. That's it. Five hours of coaching a week. My four one-on-one -on -one calls on my one group call. Like what? So yeah. I don't know. My, my mind is shifting. I'm thinking much bigger than I have before, especially financially. Like, I don't know. Things are clicking. God's, God's unlocking stuff. And so when I was sitting there watching that video, I, it was like God was teaching me. He was literally showing me like, Chris, this is the answer. Tithe. Test me in this. Don't worry about what anyone else says. Don't listen to any man. Listen to the word. Listen to me. Test me in this. Watch what happens because I haven't been consistent with it. I've been too scared. I'm like, no, I need that 10%. That's $200. That's $300. You know? So, yeah. I'm going to test him in it. And I'm going to decide if I'm going to commit to doing $30,000. And if I do, I am going to send an email to my pastors and let them know that I'm committing to tithing $30,000 this year to this church. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. But God says, test me. And I trust him. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy.